It's been yet another year of plummeting sales for the record industry as labels struggle to convince fans to pay for music. In spite of that, the Australian scene is in the middle of a boom and it's showing no signs of slowing down. Angela Wapier reports. Here is the moment that you've all been waiting for. The number one song in Triple J's Hottest 100. <gasps> Melbourne artist Chet Baker takes out the world's largest music poll. If the music industry is in trouble, no one told these guys. Or any of the people who tuned in around the world. Or sent in two million votes, more than ever before. I think 2014 will probably go down as one of the most successful Australian countdowns in the history of the countdown. A record 59 songs by Australian artists made the cut. Success that was replicated globally. Three Aussie artists topping the charts over in the US, which has not happened since 1981. Aussie music may have more fans than ever before, but music sales are still bombing. Last year, recorded music revenue fell by almost 10%. On the other hand, the use of streaming services more than doubled, which means fans are a step closer to paying for their music. As people are moving to streaming services, we need them to move them from free to paid models. It's an industry in flux, which leaves artists out of pocket. But if you ask Triple J, there's no better time to be an Australian making music. Those boundaries that have now been broken down aren't going to suddenly seal up again. Ange Lavoie-Pierre, ABC News.